Uh, radio this end is a Yaesu FT1XD, so not the latest, because uh, the latest one's the 3XD, isn't it? And then there was the 2XD before that, so the 1XD, I guess, was before that from about five years ago. But I've never really used it much on C4FM, and I've still never used it on a repeater or a hotspot. All my contacts have been simplex, but it's been a very long time since I've had a simplex contact. So uh, if you want me to upload this little bit of video when I get back home to the Facebook group, I'm more than happy to, Paul, go ahead. Yeah, well I've just swapped over now, Ed. This is now the FT2 Delta. This is the FT2 Delta. Um, I much prefer the FT70. I do like the dual uh, operation on the FT2D that I can have two uh, repeaters monitored. But uh, from a, an everyday carry about in the house radio, the FT70 for me does exactly what I want it to do for C4FM and the local repeaters. So, uh, as I say, just thought I'd swap over. This is now the FT2D, and uh, we're on uh, we're on high power on this one. Yeah, okay, your signal's come up a little bit, but you haven't broken up at all. It's been rock solid audio, and um, I've never experienced a DMR or D Star simplex, but in terms of audio quality, I'm inclined to agree with you, Paul. It is very, very good for a simplex contact. 73 Ed, thank you so much for the contact. I think, apart from Fred um, and the other local friends that I've got that work C4 FM, you're the first contact for me. Um, as in outside my circle, so thank you very much Ed and have a cracking day. Yeah likewise Paul and it makes coming on holiday up here worthwhile. Uh, maybe I'll bring an HF rig with me next time for good measure but the object of the exercise was to travel as light as possible this time. So 7-3 and uh, enjoy what's left of Sunday and thank you very much for being my first uh, C4 FM simplex contact for a very long time. Yeah, seven three. Ed, you were very lucky. I thought I heard you calling on Foxtrot Mike further up the band, and I kept scanning and scanning and scanning because I recognised the voice. And then I found you where you were. So very, very lucky to make that contact. But uh, over the moon, seventy three. I'd have a cracking afternoon. Yeah, I was calling on FM um, earlier on today. Had about uh, thirteen, fourteen contacts. So you did hear me further up the band, but. Um, I don't know how you would have been on FM, but on C4FM it's rock solid. 7-3 and uh, take care of yourselves and best wishes to the lady with you. Yeah, if you wanted to try FM, just a uh, simple trip, Ed. I can just uh, flick it into VFO mode and go to FM if you want to try just a quick one. Okay, for a comparison, yes, uh, no problem at all. All right, I'll go up to... It's hard to know where's free up here at the moment. I'll, I'll go to 145500. Yeah, go to uh, 350 at 350, 145350. Is this frequency in use, please? M0, Golf Echo Tango. Is this frequency in use, please? Nothing heard. You're, um, you're still on uh, C4FM, I think, uh, Paul, so I'm going to flick over to... Uh, to Bog Standard FM from Mike Zero, Mike November Golf Portable. Right, so if I click on that, there we are. Uh, Mike Zero Golf Echo Tango slash Portable, Mike Zero, Mike November Golf Portable. Do you receive Paul over? I do indeed, Ed. The same signal, the audio is nice and clear. Uh, similar signal about an S3. Sierra 3, Radio 5, so uh, that's another one for the book for you there, Ed. Yeah, QSL. Well, um, there's not much to choose really between the, the two modulation types. FM does sound a little bit more natural, but uh, I know that when conditions are very marginal, um, C4 FM holds up a lot better than standard FM does. So, because you're reasonably strong, not much difference here, but it's a good test, and uh, you're now in the log twice, over. <laughs> well, this seems to be a good spot for playing radios, despite uh, a nearby mast. Didn't cause too many problems that I was aware of on two meters maybe a bit of QRM here and there but uh, nothing to write home about
so as a first time visitor to this spot I highly recommend it for playing radio on any band